<laughs> Welcome to a very exclusive club of all the cool people. Welcome! <laughs> Uh, it's uh, the gig's being uh, filmed today, and I, I didn't know that about that until about three minutes before the gig. So, you know, don't feel self-conscious. In fact, some of you might not even notice until I pointed it out just then. <laughs> so there, I guess I've shot myself in the face. But, uh, <laughs> just though, are you guys filming all of it? Because uh, none of this is written down, so that'd be pretty handy. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't, don't it's kind alarmed. of it's like fun. you're analyzing comedy the entire time and basically breaking it down for us. Yes, I'm afraid I do that <laughs> without a plan or thinking about it. But yes, I do do that, I suppose. <laughs> why would you, uh, why would you board my dugout anyway? you just end up with another dugout exactly the same as the one you're already in. Ah, but you see, you brought with you a bag of seeds and nuts, making you super portable. <laughs> And that's how pirating began. <laughs> now, if you were thinking to yourself just then, you know, I bet Tony's gonna go home tonight and work on the ending to that pirate bit. <laughs> Tighten it up and make sure the laugh was at the end, ready? Rather than packed up in the middle. I'm not, I'm gonna leave it exactly the same. I've been there before with that, and I, I enjoy how it just sort of tapers away. <laughs> you know, I think too much I like to think of comedy as, a, as an art in itself, like music, so. People are doing music, uh, are trying out different, different ways of making music, really respectful towards music. So, whereas comedy sometimes is about, about the lyrics too much, which should be more about uh, the music. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes riffing, you know, uh, you know, sometimes improvisations are just left alone with the first gig, and then you know you do do some new ones. But uh, you know, I like I like beating a dead horse. So. Uh, <laughs> See me before? That's a law trademark. <laughs> oh, what's he gonna do with it? That's definitely law. Seems like he's run out of ideas very early doors. <laughs> he's already jammed the microphone in his mouth. <laughs> he's already done it. Where's he gonna go with it? What's it gonna be about ice road truckers? We don't know. It's too early. It's early doors. <laughs> we just don't know. Sure, it was funny, and I laughed most of the time. But why? <laughs> the way you break it down is that born kind of from contempt for the industry and the way that people fall into a format or genuinely you're embracing oh. it and, and sort of looking at it and going, this is great, everyone's got their own thing. Yeah, no, not contempt at all. No, never. I think there's room for everything. I just, there should be more, you know, I like all of it. But sometimes one way gets too much attention or that becomes too accepted, too, yeah, the only way. And I, I hate that. <laughs> Um, boy, what a day I've been having today. <laughs> That's another one. If you've already jammed the microphone into your mouth, which way are you going to go? Go back to the early 1990s and use the style of getting into a bit of material. Boy, what a day I've been having today. <laughs> if Vic and Bob came up and nobody knew who they were and did a fringe show, I bet they would have a tough time right now. They would if they were doing Big Night Out or something. Yeah, again. they'd get like one, two stars or, and, and the, you know, that's the weird thing. It seems to be, everything seems to sort of be plateauing off on this sort of level of, uh, yeah. Normality for, well. Yeah, okay. the sort of one, one type. People are sort of afraid. So, you know, I think we've had a little bit too much fun so far. Um, it's been going really uh, great. And uh, this is the section of the show I like to call Checking My Watch. Oh, right, there we are. Now, I suppose comedy people, goes through its, its different you know, eras and things like that. There's yeah, constantly keep, been a change. If you keep doing it long enough, people will swing back your way again. But it does seem a long time ago since the Bush were at the fringe and Simon Munnery was huge. And it does seem a while ago where that was just crazy, really impressive, funny things that were pushing things on far more than, you know, chucking a bit of emotion in. You know, I, I don't know. I don't want to sound bitter, because no. I'm not. <laughs> I just think there's room for more uh, pers perspective or open minds, that this sort of thing. Bit, you, know, you know, like, if you listen to jazz on the wireless, and you listen to it, it's all like, <laughs> All right, that bit's over. I didn't see that coming at all. I like it, it just, it just stops and it leaves everyone, even the DJ. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a, you know. <laughs> 
Even the experts are going, I am totally befuddled by that. <laughs> you know, and, then, and that's a bit of a heads up for you as well. You're not going to know this show's over until uh, I've been gone for about three minutes. So, <laughs> just to save any awkwardness, as soon as it reaches a minute, go.